Right, tonight we're going to be mixing it up a little bit. We're going to be mixing some chemicals to show something that we've been doing in terms of organic reactions. I hope you've been watching the rest of the series where we've introduced the ideas of addition and substitution and elimination. What I'd like to focus on this evening is a type of addition called oxidation. So to oxidize an organic compound, usually I need an oxidizing agent. Now, the oxidizing agent that I've chosen is quite a common one. That's potassium dichromate. That's something that you use a lot in redox chemistry as an oxidizing agent. Remember that an oxidizing agent undergoes reduction. That means that it gains electrons. Now, the thing that it gains electrons from is called my reducing agent. And I've chosen a rather unusual reducing agent, but it's something that we're going to use in our everyday lives. And I hope you take a lot of this every day. This is ascorbic acid, which is more commonly known as vitamin C that I get from vegetables, that I get from specifically my citrus fruits. Okay, right, now what is so special about ascorbic acid or uh, vitamin C is that it's got a particular double bond inside it. Now remember that a double bond is a very electron-rich area on a molecule. I've got this double bond, this ring of carbons and oxygen, it's called a furan. You don't need to know that, but what I do want you to look out for is that it's got a double bond at the bottom. Now double bonds are regions of excess electrons. So we've got excess electrons on our ascorbic acid, which can donate away to an oxidizing agent. Now, why would I want vitamin C to be able to do this? Vitamin C is very good at protecting your body from oxidizing agents. Now, you might say, why don't I want things to oxidize in my body? It's because they damage themselves when they do oxidize. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I've got a nice visual way to see a reaction happening. I've got my oxidizing agent, which is a nice orange color initially. That's my, my potassium dichromate. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place that inside a conical flask, and we're going to watch what happens when I introduce some ascorbic acid, and that is used to neutralize the uh, harmful oxidizing agent inside my body. So I've got a solution, right, of water and ascorbic acid. We're going to mix the two, and we should see something visual happening to show that the potassium dichromate has been canceled out. Now, the very nice thing is that this will change color, and I want you to watch very carefully what happens. We've got chromium 6 plus, and as I add the ascorbic acid, you should notice a very sudden color change. We're getting a very extreme color change to a very dark color. And that dark color is sort of a greenish brown. I don't know if you can see that. But what's happened is I've gone from being orange, which is chromium 6 plus, and we've gone through to chromium 3 plus. Now remember the way that we go from chromium 6 plus to 3 plus is by gaining three electrons. This proves that chromium has been reduced in this experiment. Okay, so our reducing agents in this experiment, remember, was our ascorbic acid or vitamin C. Right, this is what it does inside your body. It prevents your body from being oxidized and being destroyed.